Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be taking you through three relatively unique merge glitch outfits. This is a step by step tutorial so don't worry if you haven't done anything like this before. It might seem confusing at parts but just follow what I do and you'll be fine. Also this glitch is for male characters only and your male character has to be in the first character slot, if it's in the second one it will not work for you. And yes this will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from one which is the one that you're wearing and you can save that later on. Step 1 is creating a race. If you have already made one from my previous videos then you can skip this step. Again this glitch will delete all of your saved outfits so make sure that you are wearing the one that you want to keep. For instance I want to keep the noose outfit, now I have a tutorial if you also want to get this which is going to be in the description. We're then going to press the start button, go to online and we're going to start up the creator. Of course I sped that up but we're now going to go to create a race and select land race. You then need to go into race details to create a title, a description and a photo. Now these do not matter, just make sure that the title is something that you will remember. After making a title, a description and taking a random photo, you're then going to go down to root type and make sure that it is set to point to point. Now press back, go into placement and place trigger. Feel free to place the trigger wherever you want. You're then going to back out and go into lobby camera and take another random picture. Now go into checkpoints and start placing them down. If possible I would recommend doing it on a large open road just so that you can get it done easily and quickly. You're going to want to make the race about 0.8 miles to 1 mile long. After they have all been placed you're then going to press back twice and go down to test. As expected this is then going to take you down into the race that you have just created. You don't need to do anything special here apart from run the race. This message will then pop up and you're going to press OK to return to the creator. This step is very important so once this menu pops up we're then going to go down and make sure that we save the race. It's worth noting that if you mess up the glitch later on then you don't need to recreate this race as we have already saved it. We're now going to press exit and press OK to return to the creator menu. A few seconds later the creator menu is then going to pop up and we're going to press the start button on our controller or the P key if you're on PC. Go over to the online tab and press choose character. Just press ok when the alert comes up and then you're going to wait until the character selection screen has fully loaded. As I said at the start your main male character has to be in the first slot, if it is in the second slot this will not work for you. Also if you have a character in the second slot we're going to need to delete it to make a new one. If possible then copy your main character's rank over to this new one and know it will not affect your first character's rank. Make sure that this new character is a female and then you're going to save and continue, enter a name if you want and take a random photo, that doesn't actually matter. We're now going to move on to outfit transfer, so once you have watched the diamond casino cutscene, you'll then be spawned into a free mode session. Press start and check to see if the clothing stores are on the map, if they're not on the map which is very common, then all you need to do is find a new session. Anyway we're now going to make our way down to one of the clothing stores and we're going to head over to the outfit section. From here we're going to go down to the bottom and go into the arena wall category. Now go into traveller suits and purchase the white space traveller. Now we're going to go into edit saved outfits and you're going to save this in outfit slot 2 and call it 2. If you have no money on your female character then you need to go back to your main character, go to the bank and deposit some in the ATM. Moving on we're now going to go over to the pants section and go into the sports pants category. From here we're going to purchase the spotted muscle pants which are the merge pants. These will allow us to transfer the noose pants that we're going to get from the space traveller suit. If you haven't done this before and that makes no sense, don't worry, just continue doing what I'm doing. In the top section we're going to go into leather jackets and we're going to start scrolling down. From here we're going to purchase the brown deep belted jacket. After purchasing that you're then going to back out and go down to the bikinis category. Go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the orange bikini, now you won't be able to see it but it is there. Ok so now that we have the jacket and the bikini we're going to head over to the shoe section and go into the skate shoes category. We're going to be purchasing the all black backside which are going to turn into the black scruffy boots later on. With those equipped we're then going to back out of the shoe section and we're going to go over to the other side of the store to go into the accessory section. Now go into earrings, go down to the bottom and purchase the B&W deco earrings. We then need to back out and go into the gloves category to purchase the light wooden tactical. You shouldn't be but just in case if your character is wearing any other glasses or a hat then please do make sure that you remove them. We're now going to save this outfit in slot 1 and we're going to call it 1. 
There are three parts to the first outfit, so we're now going to go over to the top section to make the third part. This time though, we're going to go into the work jackets category and we're going to purchase the peach camo closed field. If you can only buy the open ones, then open up your interaction menu, go into style and make sure that jacket is set to closed. Now we're going to back out of work jackets and we're going to go down to gun running t-shirts. Please pay extra attention to this part, so we're going to purchase the peach digital rolled tee. Do not purchase the peach camo rolled tee. They are two completely different things, so again, make sure it is the digital one. With that out of the way, we're then going to head over to the shoe section once again, but this time we're going to go into the sneakers category. From here we're going to purchase the pink plain high tops. Now we're going to go into edit saved outfits and you're going to save this in outfit slot 3 and we're going to call it 3. To make things clearer, outfit 1 is going to turn into a top and boots, outfit 2 is going to turn into pants and outfit 3 is going to turn into a vest when we're on the mail. Ok so we're now going to go back over to tops and go into leather jackets. This time though we're going to purchase the all red leather fur jacket. As we did before, we're then going to back out of leather jackets and go into the bikinis category. Go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the orange bikini. As we already have the pants and stuff on, we're going to now save the outfit in outfit slot 20 and we're going to call this one A. Press back but stay in the top section as we now need to go back into the work jackets category. We're going to need to purchase the peach camo closed field once again. Now back out of there and go back down to the gun running t-shirts. Ok now this time we're going to purchase the peach camo roll tee. Don't equip the digital one that we purchased before, make sure it is the peach camo roll tee. Again if you haven't done this before and it seems a bit confusing, don't worry just continue doing what I do. Now that we have the peach camo closed field and the peach camo roll tee equipped, we're then going to make sure that we save this in outfit slot 19 and we're going to call it B. So outfits 1, 2 and 3 will make the first male outfit and outfits A and B will make the second outfit. To make the third male outfit, we're then going to go back into the gun running t-shirts category. Just scroll down the list a little bit further and we're going to purchase the blue digital rolled tee. That is the only thing that we're going to need to purchase and then we're going to make sure that we save this outfit in another slot. I would recommend that you save it in slot 18 and call it something memorable. For instance, I called it black vest because that is what it's going to turn into and I just wanted to differentiate it from 1, 2, 3 and A and B. The confusing part is now over, so we're going to press start, go to online and go back down to creator. Obviously we're going to start up the creator and wait for the creator menu to appear and then we're going to go into load creation. Go into saved and select your race. Again if you already had a race from another video like I did then you can also use that one. Now just go down to test and as we did before we're just going to run the race, you don't need to do anything special apart from complete it. Press ok to return to the creator and then you're going to press exit. Once prompted, you're then going to press OK to return to the creator and a few seconds later, the creator menu will load up. Once it does, you're then going to press start on your controller or the P key if you're on PC, head over to the online tab and we're going to go to choose character. Simply just press OK when the alert comes up and then you're going to wait until your character selection screen has loaded. As I mentioned at the start, I have drastically sped up most of these pointless scenes. We're now going to go over to the female character which is in the second slot and we're going to delete it. Do not delete your male character. Ok so once that loads up you're then going to look at the bottom right and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. Do not select a character. This will bring you down into story mode and after a brief cinematic you're going to press start and go over to the online tab. Go to play GTA Online and press go. Do not go into an invite only session unless you have a friend doing this with you. If not then we need to be in a public session to invite a random later on. Head into the clothing store and view your saved outfits to make sure that the outfits 1, 2, 3, A, B and black vest have transferred over from the female character. Before we continue, if you're wearing your favourite outfit that I said to wear at the start of the video then make sure that you save this in the middle of your saved outfits in slot 10. With that done, we're now ready to merge the outfits. Thankfully this is really easy to do, the hard part is gone. To begin, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style, go down to outfit and equip the one called 2. You'll then have this weird looking outfit which has the noose pants which are what we want. Go back into the outfit section of the store, go to edit saved outfits and delete outfit 2. And yes, this is the one that we are wearing so do not change outfit otherwise you will lose it. For peace of mind you can save this one back in the middle of your saved outfits, but just make sure it's not near 1, 3, A or B. 
As you can see, I just call it backup, just in case something goes wrong. Okay, so now that we're wearing the outfit with the noose pants, we now need to merge it onto an actual outfit. So we're going to press start, go to online, and go down to jobs. Go into play job, go to rockstar created, and then head down to verses and start up the crooked cop mission. Once the mission setting screen loads up, the only thing that you need to do is go down to clothing and make sure it's set to player owned. That is very important. You also need to be the host of the lobby. Confirm the settings and then either invite a friend or you can also use the auto invite to invite a random. After starting, you'll then be brought to this outfit screen. Go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip outfit 1 and then press right again to equip outfit 3. Like I said before, outfit 1 gives us the top and outfit 3 gives us the vest. In the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left to equip an earpiece on gear. Close the menu, open up your phone and quit the job. You'll then load into a free mode session and as you can see we now have the noose pants, the coveralls top and the plate carrier. It's now time to head down to a clothing store and save this outfit in an empty slot and as you can see I called it outfit 1. I recommend you do the same just to make things easier. We'll finish outfit 1 towards the end of the video but for now we're going to focus on the merging for outfit 2. This process is slightly different so we're going to go into the outfit section and we're going to go into the Gorka suits category. From here we're going to purchase the brushstroke Gorka suit. We're going to merge a different top onto this Gorka suit whilst keeping the pants and the boots. To do this we're going to press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go into verses and start up crooked cop. As we did before we're going to wait for the setting screen to start up and make sure that clothing is set to player owned. Then just confirm the settings and invite either a random person or a friend. Go down to owned outfit but this time press left to equip outfit A and then press left again to equip outfit B. As you can see we now have the tactical jacket and the plate carrier on top of the Gorka pants and Gorka boots. When you can, open the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left to equip the red earpiece. Then close the menu and open up your phone and quit the job. When you spawn into a free mode session you'll now notice that you still have the outfit on so we're going to need to head down to a clothing store. Go back to the outfit section and save this one in another empty slot and as you can see I'm calling this one outfit 2. Like we did before, we're just going to leave outfit 2 for now and we're going to move on to the merging of outfit 3. We're now going to go into the diamond casino heist category of the outfit section and then we're going to go into infiltration upgraded tech. We're going to select any of these outfits that have a vest and the pouches on the front. If these outfits are locked for you, then that means you need to complete the diamond casino heist finale on the silent and sneaky approach. At this point, we're then going to head over to the pants section and we're going to go into the cargo pants category. From here we're going to purchase the light woodland cargo. With those purchased we're then going to back out of pants and head over to the top section. Just scroll down the list and we're going to go into the designer hoodies category. To match the pants we're going to purchase the woodland camo bigness hoodie. You can see that the vest from the infiltration outfit has disappeared but we are still wearing the pouches. It isn't essential but I would recommend that you go into your interaction menu just to remove the night vision because you don't need it. In the shoe section we're going to go into the boots category and start scrolling up. However, if you want to, you can also keep the black flight boots that you already have equipped, but I personally prefer the black tech boots. Either way, you're then going to need to head over to the outfit section, start browsing, and we're going to go into edit saved outfits. Go down to the bottom of the list, which is slot 20, and delete outfit A. The reason is because if we scroll through the list in Crooked Cop, it's going to change the top that we currently have on, which we don't want to happen. However, you do not need to delete outfit B, you can keep that if you want. As we have done twice before, we're now going to press start to bring up online, go into jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and start up crooked cop. Just as a reminder, make sure that you go down to the clothing option and make sure it's set to player owned. Confirm the settings and then either invite a random or a friend. At this point, go down to owned outfit and press left twice to equip the black vest. Pressing left once is obviously going to equip outfit B, which is the peach vest, and pressing it again will equip the black vest. Once the mission eventually starts, you're going to open up your interaction menu, go to style and accessories and press left to equip the red earpiece before closing the interaction menu. Now open up the phone and quit the job. No surprises, but you'll then load into a free mode session with the merged plate carrier and the pouches. If the pouches disappeared when you tried to equip the vest, then that means that you've got to put the B and W deco earrings on the female outfit when we made it at the start. We're now going to save the outfit at a clothing store and move on to the final step, which is finishing the outfit. Switching back to outfit 1, we're now going to start browsing the accessory section and go into the gloves category. Go down to the bottom and purchase the black tax gloves. 
We then need to make sure that we resave the outfit before we continue on to the next part. With that done, we're then going to leave the clothing store and head down to the mask store at Vespucci Beach. We're going to go into the hat section and go into the diamond casino heist category. I've decided to go for the stone scope night vision for this outfit but you can also use the black one if you happen to have it unlocked. Equipping it will remove the outfit but don't worry because we've just saved it at the clothing store. For now we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and we're going to press right on gear to remove the earpiece. That will then also remove the ski mask. This basically turns it into some kind of glitchy hat. Now if the night vision is in the down position then just hold right on the d-pad to put it up. Next we're going to go into the mask section and go into the gas category. Head down to the bottom of the list and purchase the gas mask. As you can see it requires no glitch to fit with the night vision. We now need to head down to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier and sprint towards it at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If you've timed that correctly then your character will just stand there instead of looking into the telescope and you'll no longer be wearing the mask or the night vision. In the interaction menu go into style and go down to outfit and equip outfit 1. When you walk away from the telescope, you'll then notice that the mask and the night vision will then reappear on the outfit but they do not remove it. The next step is to then head down to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the weapon section and we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left, just in case you don't already have one. After you've bought that, you're then going to back out and open up the interaction menu, go to style and go into parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. For this outfit, we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. Now my main reason for adding that is because the rest of the outfit including the pants and the night vision has a bunch of straps over it and the parachute kind of just adds to it on the torso. Anyway we're now going to make sure that we re-save the outfit before adding the last touch to outfit 1. We're now going to go into the flight suits category and purchase the black flight suit. With the flight suit equipped we're then going to back out, leave the ammunition and head down to the vanilla unicorn strip club. When you arrive you're simply then just going to head inside and you'll notice that the flight suit tube has disappeared from the front of the outfit. Open the interaction menu, go into style, go down to outfit and equip outfit 1. When you walk outside you'll then notice that the flight suit tube has now appeared onto this outfit and it kind of looks like it's connected to the gas mask which I think is a nice touch. We now need to head over to the clothing store on the other side of the road but do not get into a car, you either need to run there or use a bike like I did. Head over to the outfit section and make sure that you save outfit 1 for the last time. Just before we go to outfit 2, I'm just going to go through a problem that you're going to encounter with outfit 1 and how to very quickly fix it. The tube will disappear if you switch outfits, so all you need to do is equip the outfit twice and it will reappear. But that pretty much concludes outfit 1, so we're now going to move on to finishing outfit 2. Go back down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach and go into the hat section. We're going to go into the combat helmets category and we're going to scroll through until we get down to the brown dual lens. However you can also use the brown quad lens if you prefer. If the lenses are down then just hold right on the d-pad to put them up. For now though we're going to head over to the mask section. This time though we're going to go into the diamond casino heist category and start scrolling through the menu. For this outfit we're going to be purchasing the yellow visor respirator which again thankfully requires no glitches to be combined with the helmet. Lastly, we're then going to head down to the clothing store and start browsing the accessory section and go into the gloves category. Feel free to purchase whichever ones you think suit best, but for this outfit I'm going to go for the peach camo tactical. This of course matches with the plate carrier. Optionally, you can also add a parachute to this outfit, so to do that, open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and make sure it's set to on. The tan combat shoot bag is probably going to suit this outfit best, but for once I actually think that this outfit looks better without a parachute. Either way, just make sure that you go and save outfit 2 for the last time and then we're going to move on to the third and final outfit. Back down at the mask store, we're going to head into the mask section and go back into Diamond Casino Heist. Head down to the bottom of the list and you're going to start scrolling up until you get to the green camo neck gaiter which is going to match with the pants and the top. In order to glitch a different hat onto this, we're going to go into the hat section and go into the biker helmets category. Go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the black spiked. You'll see that this is one of the few pieces that you can actually equip with the gator. We're now going to save this in an empty outfit slot and call it test. We're now going to back out to the hat menu and we're going to go into the canvas hats category. From here we're going to purchase the light woodland boonie up which is relatively close to the top of the list. To combine the hat and the gator we're going to need a motorbike and a car. I would suggest calling your own bike as they're harder to find than a car. Just make sure that the car you pick has a roof. Okay so to begin this glitch we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style and go down to outfit. Scroll along to the outfit that we just saved which is called test but do not equip it, instead you're going to go up to where it says parachute. 
The timing of this next part is very important. Press triangle to enter the vehicle, go down to outfit and equip the outfit as soon as your character sits down. Go back up to parachute and exit the vehicle. If done correctly, you will now be wearing the neck gaiter and the biker helmet instead of the boonie hat. In the interaction menu, we're now going to go to secure serve and start up CEO or VIP. We then need to head over to the motorbike and you're going to reopen the interaction menu. Go into secure serve CEO, go to management and style and then press right where it says CEO style to equip the founder. Again, the timing of this next part is very important. Press triangle to get on the bike and as your character is getting on, press left on where it says CEO style to go back to none. If you have timed that correctly, you'll then notice that you now have the boonie hat on with the green camo neck gaiter. We're not going to save this just yet, instead we're going to head over to a clothing store and go over to the glasses section. For this outfit we're going to go into gun range glasses and purchase the yellow guns, thankfully this requires no glitch to put them on. After equipping those, we're then going to back out of glasses and head over to the accessory section to go into the gloves category. We're just going to purchase the black tact gloves and then back out and head over to the nearest ammunition to browse the weapon section. Again, we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left in case you don't already have one, and then you're going to back out and open up the interaction menu. Go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on, and for this outfit we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. We then need to head over to the outfit section of the store and we're going to save the outfit. Just before we finish up, I'm going to go through one problem that you'll face with this outfit and how to easily fix it. When you switch outfits, you'll notice that the gator does not actually stay on your face and it kind of just glitches for a second every time you equip it. Simply just go up to parachute, press triangle to get on a bike or in a car and equip the outfit as you're sitting down. That pretty much concludes everything so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this one was a little bit more complicated than the rest so if you are having any difficulties then please do make sure that you check the pinned comment below and I'll put any information I can to help you. There is also a militated discord server which you can join which is linked in the description if you need any help. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated but with all that being said thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.